Hey guys, this is Corey, Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and today I have another gorgeous new arrival to show you. This is the all new 2022 Salem Hemisphere by Forest River model 369BL. This 43 foot long mid bunk comes in just over 11,900 pounds as we see it equipped here today. And man, I tell you, if this, pound for pound, I think this is one of the best mid bunk fifth wheels I have seen in a long time. This has got the Salem exclusive Versa bunk system, all kinds of door side windows, power awnings, dual air conditioners, auto leveling, 12 volt tank heaters, which is a very rare find in this class and category. Um, giant residential fridge, all kinds of cool features, and you're definitely going to going to want to see. Uh, so let's go ahead, we'll jump onto the inside, do a quick walk around on the interior, and then we'll circle back, do the exterior, and let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Man, I tell you, if you're looking for a bunkhouse that has all the windows you could ever possibly want, this one definitely checks that box. If we kind of stand over here in the kitchen and just take a quick second to pan over, notice all of these gigantic campsite windows. They're facing your campsite and the back of your campsite instead of facing your neighbors. Because let's be honest, nobody likes their neighbors in a campground unless you are camping with them. So, I'm I'm really struggling where to start because there's so many cool things in this. Um, but I guess let's start over here with the dinette. So this particular one we see here today has the optional, or the really the standard, booth dinette. You can get a freestanding table and chairs. This is going to make down into an extra sleeping space if you need it to, which is a nice thing. Not that this doesn't have enough sleeping space, this is just a bonus. Um, You'll, we'll take a look at the storage underneath that here in just a little bit. Yes, I know they do carpet in the slide outs. Um, I have a feeling they're going to be one of the uh, one of the next ones to kind of introduce uh, carpetless flush floor slides. As we come over here and take a look at your primary seating for mom and dad or the owners of this camper, you have a very nice plush theater seat. Now this does not have the heat and massage like you're used to in a lot of these big luxury fifth wheels and I'm kind of okay with that. It's just another thing that could possibly quit working. Um, you do have a couple of lights in there. I just conveniently forgot to turn them on again um, but that's beside the point. There is cup holders in the armrest and the uh, the center console there and this is the lighter of their two fabric colors you can get a darker one if you don't like this but um, down here in Texas we've really found that this is a uh, better color for down here can man just look at all those windows all of these do have the roll down blackout shades which is a very nice feature something that I really like Across the back here, you do have a nice trifold sleeper sofa that'll turn out into an extra bed. And the nice thing about this, this has four separate sleeping zones. So you've got the couch and the dinette out here, the mid bunk, the loft, and then the master bedroom. So you can really pack them in here if you really have to. But if we take a look at some detail things, if we get in here just a little bit closer, and oh, come on camera, work with me today. Come on, there we go. Uh, you can kind of see it right up in this area here. You've got household and USB outlets on both sides of the sofa, which is a very nice thing. Um, man, this camera struggles with all these windows and a lot of people watch these to see what, what the window coverage looks like, but cameras do a really poor job at showing that. Or, you know showing everything else besides the windows basically up top you have a 110 volt ceiling fan uh, this does have the crowned roof line which is a very nice feature i really like that it's just going to make it feel uh more open as well as if it didn't already feel open enough you're also going to have led 
kind of like runway lights above the main slide outs in here, which is a really nice feature. Standard 15,000 BTU Coleman air conditioner up top there. You do have the dual AC ducting, which is a very nice touch. And then if we look down here, you'll notice that you have cabinet ducted heating, which is a very nice feature. A lot of people really like that, especially in a bunkhouse where kids are going to make a mess, spill food, dog hair, crayons, whatever, down the uh, in-floor ducted heating vents. If we take a look, or take a seat on the theater seats here, you'll get a very nice look at your entertainment center. So you have, I want to say that's a 50 inch TV. Down below that, and I love that countertop space up there, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. Uh, but you do have an AM, FM, CD, DVD, and Bluetooth stereo system down there. That's by Jensen. That'll control the interior and exterior speakers. And then down below that, you have the 5200 BTU electric space heating, quote unquote, fireplace down below. It's basically a big electric space heater. And then if we kind of take a look, there's a better view of that countertop space. That is just so handy. If we take a look at the kitchen, um, we'll come back to this here in just a minute. But this has a really good kitchen, and I love those dual pantries, which I'll show you the inside of those here shortly. But before we get to that, I do want to take a second to talk about over here. This is your command station. I love those uh, coat hooks right there too, by the way. That's just a very nice touch. So you've got your ceiling fan controls here, both thermostats for the two air conditioners on this unit up top there. And then you've got your control panel here. So you've got your awning control, some slide out controls, your water pump, water heater, 12 volt tank heaters. That's a standard feature on these hemispheres. I absolutely love that. Uh, this is going to be for your second awning. I uh, kind of wish they would have labeled that, but that's okay. And then you've got some lighting controls, your tank monitoring panel, an extra light switch, and then you have your brains for your automatic leveling controls right above there. And I tell you, as much good living space as this one has, you have to have a good ki kitchen to be able to feed all, all of those uh, hungry bodies. So let's go ahead now and take a look at the kitchen. So I really think the storage starts underneath this booth dinette. So if we drop down here and take a look, you'll notice you have tons of storage underneath both sides of there, um, which is nice. You can also take the cushions off to get to those as well. If we come back here to the living area, you're gonna have nice little cubby holes on each side of the sofa there. And if we take a look over here, you'll see that you do have another one. You have a nice chunk of storage up here above the uh, sofa. Notice the little detail things like these are all strut supported so you don't have to juggle them to get uh, what whatever you have to out of there, which is a very nice touch. And these do have the soft close, well, uh, these probably don't, but uh, the rest of the cabinets are all soft close, which is nice. I'll show you a better example of that here in just a minute. You've got a couple little cabinets for some DVDs and things, and this is a better idea of that. So as you can see, you have very nice soft close cabinets. That's a very high-end feature, uh, something that I personally really like. This is all sealed edge pressed membrane countertops anywhere in this trailer, which is a very, very, very nice touch, especially in a bunkhouse. So if you spill a drink, it, as long as you wipe it up within a timely manner, it's not gonna hurt anything like it would a team old countertop. So if we take a look over here, you're gonna have your three burner Furion cooktop with the oven down below. You're gonna have four drawers over here. So you've got uh, this one, which would primarily be for your flatware. And then you have two larger drawers down here as well. And then you've got a nice pots and pans drawer underneath the oven. Notice that that is matching the oven. Uh, the face of that is matching the oven, I should say. I really like their backsplash too. That's just, it's different. If we look up in here, you'll notice good storage for some of your cups, bowls, plates, things like that. Again, soft closed doors microwave hood range up there 
And then if we take a look at the island, this is a very large island. You've got a nice one piece farm style sink, high rise pull out sprayer faucet and the aluminum drying rack up there. You're also going to have a couple of cubbies here, which is a very nice touch. And I don't want to forget this because I will, but you have a couple of outlets over here, perfect for a coffee station. And then you're going to have two sets of outlets on the front side of this island. So if you need to put any appliances up here, you can do that. If we look up under the island, you'll notice that you have plenty of room for a wastebasket and they even include one, which is a, again, a very nice touch. Let's talk refrigerators. So this particular one has the 14.7 cubic foot and this pantry door is gonna fight me on this. <laughs> but this one has the 14.7 cubic foot uh, residential refrigerator, that's by Furion. So there is the refrigerator portion. And if we look down here, again, this pantry door is gonna fight me on this. Um, there is the freezer portion. I love those pull-out bins, that is so smart. And speaking of pantry, you have a nice double door pantry. So you have an extra bonus drawer in there for some of your canned goods. You're also gonna have tons of pantry space here. And I love how wide this pantry is. Motion sensor light up there too, by the way. And then you have an extra cubby hole, perfect for some of those duffel, duffel bags and things of that sort in there. And these are held closed. You hear that right there, that click by magnets, which is a very nice touch. I absolutely love that. So, okay guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the kitchen. Let's go ahead now, uh, you, this is a bunkhouse. Obviously you're buying it for the sleeping accommodations. Let's go ahead and take a, oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mid bunk. And I tell you, this is one of the best bunkhouse arrangements I have ever seen. And I've been doing this for almost six years. So as we come up towards the bunk room, notice these floating steps, that's really nice. Perfect to put some shoes underneath there. But if we go into the bunk room. So this is your, it, it's kind of a traditional bunk house, but for a mid bunk, but not really. So you have the flip up bunk up there that will flip up out of the way and you've got the Versa bunk down below. So the cool thing with this, it's a couch in the daytime. It also makes into a queen size bed, which is a very nice uh, feature. And if we take a look over here, this will kind of give you an idea of, of how it, uh, how it works. So you've got the flip up sofa, nice queen size bed underneath, um, which is very nice. And that's fully removable. So if you want to make this into an office, you're not going to tear out anything. Just make sure and keep this. So when you trade it in, you still have the mattress and everything. As we come in here and spin back around, you notice you have a nice place for a TV, household USB outlets, cable, and I love that they didn't put any cabinets underneath here. So if you want to use this as a computer desk for the kids to do homework on these longer trips, you can do that. And if we talk storage, if we look in here, you are going to have a ton of hanging closets, uh, closet space. And that's something bunk houses in general are not known for, is kids hanging closed space. Then you've got a couple extra drawers down there as well. And I'm 6'3 with shoes on and I still have about two, two and a half inches above my head. Uh, so you can be a little taller than I am and still stand up in here comfortably. As we come up here and take a look, this does have a loft. This is a lot bigger loft than what you traditionally see. The big reason for that is that reduced height in the bunk area. So as you can see, you have a nice window there with a the shade. Uh, there are gonna be household and USB outlets up over there. You just can't really see them here. And then you have the nice teddy bear bunk mats down here as well. Love that wrought iron railing there. And if we look down here, notice how this is up on the upper deck. It's not 
down there where it's an eight foot climb for the kids. That's just a nice little touch. And again, I love this giant picture window here. That's a, again, a very nice touch. You can see who's outside if you hear a noise at night. With that being said, guys, pardon the weird camera angle. Let's go ahead now and take a look at the bathroom. So, okay, guys, we are now up in the bathroom of this 369 hemisphere. First thing you'll notice, you have plenty of room around the toilet. Uh, well, you would if the drawers were closed, let me put it that way. But you are gonna have a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. If we look up top, you'll notice good linen closet. We'll take a look at that here in just a minute. But you have a rain sensoring max air fan, which is a very nice touch. If we get in here a little bit closer, you notice good towel storage or linen storage, whatever you wanna call it. And then you are going to have a couple extra bonus drawers right there. Again, love those soft closed doors. Nice size shower, and you do have the seat in here in case you need to shave your legs or sit to bathe. I love the placement of this skylight. It just makes sense. You're not gonna be way over there on the back side of the shower. You're gonna be up here where you're close to the shower head and you can be up to about 6'5 and still shower in here comfortably. Nice medicine cabinet, not a mirror on the wall. You're gonna have uh, your fan controls, GFI protected outlet, and a light switch. Stainless steel sink, press membrane countertops. Uh, toilet paper holders, a little far away, but you could always move that to over here or something. Um, I would put a trash can over there. And then you've got good storage underneath the sink as well. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead now. We'll take a look at the master bedroom. I tell you, this has got a killer mat mass mattress bedroom. Master bedroom. There we go. So as we step into the master bedroom, uh, first thing I do want to point out, this does have a little bit of carpet up here. You're also going to have an in-floor ducted heating up here. And really, in this instance, this makes sense just for the fact that, you know, there's not gonna be a lot of foot traffic here. Yes, you do have to get into the, that side of the bed, but it's not like you're gonna have 10 people walking over here all the time. There is storage under this bed, and this is a 66 by 80 custom king bed. Uh, you do have nice little side stands over there, and you're gonna have household and USB outlets uh, on each side of the bed, I believe, as well. Um, key things here, if you wanna put a 70 or 72 inch wide king in here, you can definitely do that. So we spin around over here, you'll notice that you do have a three drawer dresser and a little boot bench over there next to that big panoramic window. There is not storage under there, that is for the plumbing for the washer dryer hookups we'll see in a minute. And then you've got a light switch and your slide out controls over here as well. So we come over here and take a look at this storage uh, or the closet space. Again, this is a stackable washer dryer prep. Uh, if you want to, do that I should say but if not you just have a massive amount of closet space and if we kind of sneak around this pole I mean just look how big this closet is this is very nice I love these robe hooks on this center pillar here it's lighted it's just an all-around great master bedroom and if we look up top you'll notice that you have an optional piece of equipment this is the optional second air conditioner I don't know who, what dealer in their right mind would ever bring this in with one air conditioner, but I'm sure somebody has done it and somebody will continue to do it. But this is a 15K AC, which is nice. They used to only offer 5, or 13 fives for their bedroom air conditioners. And if you want to add a TV, you do have the connections and backer in the wall there to do it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the interior of the 2022 Salem Hemisphere Model 369 BL. Let's go ahead now, we'll jump onto the outside, do a quick walk around, show you some of the cool features, and we'll see what you think. All right guys, so we're back on the outside of this 2022 Hemisphere Model 369 BL. So starting up here at the front, you have a nice fully painted automotive grade front cap. You do have some LED integrated docking lights in there as well, I just don't have those turned on. Standard pin box. You can upgrade that if you want to. Down up underneath here is going to be where your batteries would go as well as where your spare tire lives most of the time, unless you are on the unfortunate 
situation that you need it. As we come over here onto this side, you have your two 30 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator. Has anybody noticed how hard it is to get propane regulators right now? Or is that just me? Let me, know, let me know if you're having trouble with that down in the comment section down below. Right here, you are gonna have a very nice chunk of pass-through storage and you've got your unified docking center down here as well. I love that these doors split open. So you've got your fresh water, city water, black tank flush, water heater bypass, winterization port, low point drains, cable satellite, outside shower, all kinds of neat stuff in there. Uh, and I like that it's easy to get to. Back here, you are gonna have your 10 gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition. And if we drop down here, you will notice that you do have your termination, uh, your grain black tank poles. If we take a look over here, you are going to have your dump there under the slide out. That's a pet peeve of mine. I wish they could have moved that a little forward, but I understand that sometimes they can't. And if we look up underneath here, you'll notice that you have the fully enclosed and heated accessibility. And the nice thing about that, if you have to do any service to the coach, where you need to get into the underbelly. You don't have to cut it or pull the whole thing. You can just pull the individual panel, which is a very nice feature. As we come along over here to the back side, you are gonna have your 50 amp service. Good looking aluminum wheels. I love those. The, um, they just, man, they look good. And if we drop down here, you'll notice, and it might be kind of hard to see, but you do have six point electric auto leveling by ground control. The control panel for that is up on the front. And so you've got two jacks in the front, two before the wheels and two right after the wheels, which is a very nice feature. It's gonna provide a very stable coach. Square tubular bumper for your stink slinky. This one has a ladder that may go away, it may not. I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna do on that yet backup camera prep and you've got all LED tail and marker lighting. Coming around on this side, man, just again, look at those windows. Those things are just, you've got tons of window coverage. You are going to have two power awnings with LED light strips, one on the slide out here, and then you've got a larger one up front. Friction hinge entry door with the larger entry assist handle and a quad step, more ride step above steps down below. Those have the easy adjust feet and will flip up inside of the door uh, for travel. If we get in here a little bit closer, you have some storage. Handy mini fridge here. Go ahead and open that up for you. This is an all aluminum frame trailer with two inch sidewalls. Andrew, Handry, handy power outlet right there too and these are going to have the slam latch baggage doors there too dual outside speakers and you've got a tv uh, bracket location there as well as cable and power down below here's another look at that pass-through storage tons of space in there if we take a look up in here a couple things that are going on you are going to have a 1000 watt inverter for the excuse me for the residential refrigerator handy battery disconnect an extra light that bottom switch down there is for the cap lights bottle opener and you are going to have a 110 watt solar panel from go power with a 30 amp charge controller which is that box right there Again, magnet holdbacks on this big door and dual slam latches down there too. Lastly, you are going to have a shaded pet tether. So uh, you can be like uh, on National Lampoon's vacation and tie the dog up to the trailer and hopefully you don't forget about it. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for the 2022 Salem Hemisphere model 369BL. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you would like any pricing or availability, feel free to put those questions down in the comment section down below. You can also view the link in the video description box and that will take you directly to our website and uh, we'll show our current price and if we have one.
You can also give me a call at 806-335-2336 with any questions, or you can shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com. As always, guys, we thank you very much for taking the time to view these videos. Uh, remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big dealers. And we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. With that being said, guys, again, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. We hope to see you out on our lot very soon, and have a wonderful rest of your day.